Did I miss the buy the dip opportunity Bayport International Holdings stock signaled? Bayport closed the session of the 29th of March 2021 at $3.84. It ran up a gain of 195.38%. 105,500 shares crossed the tape. It was above average and uh, certain market participants uh, feel it's good when there's an above average uh, stock movement and uh, a very high uh, price gains as well. So we can see here, here it says uh, price rose through 50 day moving average of $2.24 or above average volume. So moving down, we can uh, see that it has a market cap of $5.2 million. This is a very small company and uh, 1.36 1.356 million shares. You get that? Very small float. Very, very small float. So, what did that? What is this that I missed? I look at this. Is what is what I'm what I missed? As at Friday, the 26th of March, you can see this stock was trading below all of its trend lines at one dollar point two seven. It was an excellent opportunity. It had been retracing and retracing. Probably, people didn't care anymore. Look, this is this is a dead stock now. And look at that what we saw 195 percent from that price the next day the next trading session so that was what we missed that's what that's what you probably missed as well also price crossed above 200 day moving average as well so uh, moving down we can see the unbalanced volume indicator i think it's trying to improve it was declining before now the magd's also the MACD histogram is below zero Momentum, I think, uh, is not so wonderful. I think, but these are all over the plus ten trading sessions. So it says here, uh, B uh, B port appears to be correcting within a longer term bullish trend. Although it's marked this presently below the signal line, shares remain one hundred eighty eight point one percent above an upward slope in two hundred day trend line. It's outperforming the uh, S and P five hundred. But this is not exactly what is going on right now. What has happened? It's not enough to have changed these uh, readouts. So, and momentum was going to say again, momentum it's uh, strongly bearish and all that, you know. But indeed, momentum is not exactly. Uh, this is a 14 period slow stochastic oscillator, and we are not looking at what exactly happened. Um, we're looking at a daily um, report. So, so let's let's go ahead and just look at what happened during that day, during that session. The, 20, the session of the 29th of March, you can see that. So I think uh, it opened right, right, right at the open. It was just at uh, $1.49. So it wasn't even a case of what happened in the pre-market session. It opened low. It opened, you know, probably where it was before, slightly up, yes, slightly up, and then continued to ascend and extend. And it actually reached, uh, what is it called? Uh, $5.43. So um, as a matter of fact, it has actually lost probably a, close to 15% of what it has actually gained or thereabouts. So, um, okay, so what, yeah, it, it opened at uh, one fortnight. So we're talking about uh, up to three times or thereabouts. Yeah, up to three times, more than three times what it, it, uh, it's opened at. So, yeah. Um, all the other um, indicators definitely based on this one day session definitely are all positive for us. so we can see the all the all the trend lines all of them still close positive even though it moved sideways for the greater part of that session but towards suddenly towards the end of that session it ran up this uh, uh, another gain as well ran up from three dollars to three eight two to three eight four so that will also be uh, um from that three dollars level, yeah, close to seven percent or there about, uh, uh, close to twenty five percent from there about. So, in any case, though, what we actually missed is that by the dupe opportunity, it was signaling as of the twenty sixth of March. So, if you're new to this channel, subscribe, like, and share. If you're really a subscriber, thank you very much for watching this uh, video.